everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Awaken Chaos Era, and we're joined by Trigger Happy John. You guys probably already know who he is if you've been playing this game. If not, I'll make sure to link him below. But we are gonna do my rookie summons. I'm a noob. This is my first day properly playing, even though, oh god, I'm really, I kind of already accepted multiple days. I've got to catch up now with some of all this stuff that we're gonna have to do. But we'll get into that later. But we want to start with my rookie summons, and we're gonna have John here to guide us through it. So we're gonna have a multi-part little series here. I'm gonna go through. We're gonna do my summons. Go through some newbie stuff, we're going to continue going through, and John's going to give us advice for the beginning. And we'll make this a two-part, so part one on my channel, part two on his channel. Make sure you check out both, but... Hi, John! Hi, Ivy. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate <laughs> this. It's the, it, I mean, we've been friends for, well, actually, we started streaming and, and doing content right around the same time. But I think this is like our first actual, like, official, official co-op that we've ever done. So it's kind of exciting. I get, I get to help Cheers work to with you a little bit more on, on a game. So this should be a lot of fun. And in the meantime, we have to have a few drinks while we're sitting here talking and discussing, uh, you know, the ins and outs of Awaken Chaos era. Exactly. Yeah, I, um... I have been resisting, like, I wasn't going to play Ace, as you know. I'm like, no, but that's how I always am. I'm like, I'm not going to, and then I just give in. I'm like, fine. Usually it's Joey's fault this time. It's your fault. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, peer pressure, it's a thing, man. But hey, it's, it it's, it's a lot of fun. You, you'll enjoy this game. And obviously, yeah, like, a lot of the community's playing it. Like, you know, especially since you're doing Raid as your main game, Ace is going to be a good, like, backup game for you that you're going to... You're not going to feel like you have to, like, engage as much into this game as you do, like, in Raid, because obviously your, your dailies in Raid are so much more than, like, Awaken Chaos Era right now. But it'll be a good game for you to kind of get into and enjoy. I, I know personally myself, like, I quit, I did quit playing uh, Raid Shadow Legends, but I've been enjoying Awaken Chaos Era. It's been a lot of fun. My biggest fear, though, is it seems like, obviously, it's a... Like people call it like a raid copy, like but then again, raid is just a summoner's war copy. They all copy each other, but um, I mean, yeah, I worry that like yeah. it's like a lot of people say they can't handle both, but I've also heard a lot of people say I started playing Ace and I stopped playing raids. So there's a reason for uh, that. You know, it's, that's just the reality. Yeah, it, it, it's funny you mentioned that, and I think I think you have a fairly good point with that. So. Yeah, Awakened Chaos Era, it's like a hybrid. I contribute it as a hybrid between like Raid Shadow Legends, Summoner's uh, War, and then uh, Dragon Champions is what I'd say the other yeah. one. Because stat-wise, it relates more to Dragon Champions than it does to Raid. But um, because of that, like, that semblance there, yeah, like, everyone kind of gives it a lot of guff. But, I mean, all gacha games, you know, well, you're aware. Like, you know, we've played other ones like Konosuba, Nier, all these other gacha games. Like, they're all kind of the mm -hmm. same principle, right? You want to you wanna come yep. progress through a story mode, pull shards or, or gems, whatever the case may be, to get champions and so on, and just keep going, right? Just like any other gacha. Uh, you know, Wing Chaos here, it's going to be the same thing. I don't think they really ripped anything off. What I do like about the mm -hmm. game so far is it seems like they took a lot of, like, some of the better elements of all the games, and they're kind of trying to roll them into one one game. So I'm very interested to see what they do within the next few months as far as updates-wise goes, because everything I've heard about that's coming down the road is on par with what we would expect from a bigger uh, gotcha game, such as Summoner's War or Raid. Nice. Yeah, I mean, and it's competing. I don't know if you saw, Hell Hades did a video talking about, is Raid dying? And one of the things he showed was, like, actually how close Awaken Chaos era is, like, coming up to the numbers of Raid. Like, it's actually, it's getting there, like, very quickly, like, as far as viewership. Um, and, yeah, and, and downloads and stuff. It, like, it's actually quite surprising. So that's why he was like, I have to consider this game, like, for his own business decision. He's like, I have to. I can't ignore it anymore. <laughs> right. Done that no, too. yeah, it's been been interesting with that, for sure. Um, so I guess yeah, I need I'm to... Glad, I'm glad you're deciding to play, play it, too, by the way. Yeah, I mean, my, my worry is that I can't handle... This is what I do. So, like, I'll play... I'll start playing one game, then I'll start playing another game, and then I just have to drop them all because I'm like, I can't. Raid is too much. I can only focus on one thing. Like, Raid is too much. And it is, honestly. Raid is a lot. Their thing... All, all Raid is all about how much time do you spend in-game. So they don't want us to improve our... They don't want to improve our quality of life of how much time we spend in the game they don't want to give us that because that's how they value our like we're stuck in raid we can't do anything else that's the win for them so right it, it's hard yeah it's, and that's and that was kind of one of the contributing factors to why i kind of quit raid and then you know obviously yeah, i picked up Wake and chaos here but there's still a lot to do in this game so but the nice thing is it's like starting out you don't feel 
like you're missing out if you do skip some of the stuff. Like it's not mm-hmm. not the end of the world compared to other things where if you were to like not do a daily here, it's going to cost you in the long run. Like it's it's going to be OK. Like it's not the priority isn't there to where like this game really draws you into where you have to have to do the daily to get the resources back. If that, if that makes sense. The boob jiggle. Like, uh, for example, like in Raid, you kind of have to do your dailies to, to get caught up. Uh-oh, what'd you do? I said the boob jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, guys, she's hooked. That's oh all it took. That's all it took. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, let me go two times speed up here. We should be fine for this first yeah. battle, I think. Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah, get I the land, and okay. I actually need to turn off um, the. Oh no, I already did that. I turned off the You can do it right now. During... Uh, hit the eye. Hit the, hit the eye right now. Or not the Oops, eye, sorry, the pause button. Okay, oh. sorry. So, or get pause. out of that. Or hit, just click off that and then hit the pause button. I thought I already did. Not hit settings. Skip, and I did go skip animations game. in multi battle. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, oh, we're not in multi battle. Yeah. This is just the first run. That's why. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In multi battle, we can skip. Yeah, that's a good point. I was thinking this I'm was not. Let it I totally auto forgot that you were just trying to beat this. Yeah, we're just doing this because this is what rolls into our rookie summons, right? Once you do 12 8, you're stuck. You have to do your rookie summons. Uh, no, you can keep moving forward technically once you do 2 8. Um, it, oh, it doesn't, okay. it won't make you do it yet. So. I thought but that's it's good what to have said, it now, like, obviously. But this is what unlocks it, right? Yeah, two eight is what actually unlocks your rookie summons. Okay. So that's when like your whole team's going to change because right now you're using the uh, basically the team they like hand you, right? So yeah. Then you'll do your rookie summons, and then that's when your teams will really start going. And honestly, right after your rookie summons is when you got to kind of like, luckily, like you you know, obviously there's a lot of us in the community that help you. But that's when, like, right after the rookie summons is when you start figuring out what your end game is going to be, and you immediately start working on the, like, getting characters okay. up and ready for the end game. Gee, I mean, are people at the point where they're at true end game already in this game? I mean, it's so young. No. So that's the cool thing about this game that I've liked so far that's is uh, Void Tower Mythic is the in- true end game. People cheesed this uh, last season. This season, they haven't been able to cheese it. So people actually have not beat the end of the game. That's good. I like that. I don't. I don't like when people can just spend their way to the top immediately. Like it's like slow down. Like a game isn't meant to be beat in the first three weeks of playing or whatever. Like that's how people's mentality are. They'll like get to the end as fast as possible. But that doesn't have to be oh, yeah, everybody's I... journey or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. A lot of people have not been treating the game as, uh, you know, um, they've been treating it as a race instead of a marathon. And uh, I feel like a lot of people have done that and kind of got burnt out. But I feel yeah. like that's kind of the way a lot of any of the gotcha games start out, right? Like, you have your whales that just whale through and go, okay, well, now I'm bored. Well, in this game, I was impressed. It's your own fault that you're bored because you go too quick sometimes. <laughs> exactly. You go too quick. Now, you, now you, you know, you, you have to uh, you have to figure out, like, okay, what am I going to do in the game now? Well, if you go nice and slow, slow and steady is the, is the way to go, I'm telling you. Granted, yes, I've wailed out a little bit. I couldn't help myself, but uh, I still haven't made it to uh, end in game yet. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. All right, so, so it looks like we they, got your so legendary summons. They do force summons. you to do it. Part of the tutorial, they do force you, after 2-8, they, like, make you do that, the forced clicking. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't remember having to do that. Oh, that's that. who I we want, out, right? That's who we want. That's a good uh, Vera, start. Yes. So, Avera is going to be a good, good one. So, I'm using her in my free-to-play, and so far, it has been easy mode. So, she has an A3 and an A2 that are awesome, uh, as well as with her kit. She does a lot of damage. She's going to nuke down bosses, and she's going to do AoE damage. Attack up, they call it bleeding. Oh, yeah, bleeding like Summoner's Glory. Yep. So yeah, it's gonna. She's very, very nice. I like her. I wish I actually had her on my main account. Unfortunately, I do not. Oh yeah. So what is this? Is is this like an aura or what is this? What do you mean? Traits. So that's the yeah. So thing? every character kind of has like a trait or a passive. A lot of times okay. they're gonna have a trait, trait that is just a passive, uh, like stat boost or oh, I a. Got it. Uh, something like that, and then a lot of times people actually will have a twos that are also like a passive or a trait. 
Okay. So you're going to run into a lot of characters who only have technically two abilities. In this all case, right. all three of her uh, things are an ability or uh, that, that's some sort of like an ultimate or an A1, A2. But her A3 just destroys people because it has the attack up plus the rage counter so she can just do a lot of damage. So, but this one, like, is it like Raid where it reads in the order? So it doesn't put attack up, then attack. It actually deals damage, then puts a buff on you. So you're, correct. is that correct? Okay. That is correct. All right. So tap to continue. We didn't mm -hmm. have to do anything else, right? We just, all right, we're just continuing nope. for now. No, so it's going to do five, it's going to do five pulls just like that. So your next one should be epics. Oh yeah. Every and other then, one. Yep. Yeah. So there's your epics. So now you, Jonathan and Thomas are both really good characters. So Thomas is going to be okay. a defensive down unit uh, who's pretty good. But we're really right now, the only ones we're focused on is your legendaries. So you want to know what okay. legendaries you got opt, like, like you can opt Oh, look at I just got the two. I got two of the, uh, and Mathasia, oh, Mathasia too we want though for the, she's the heal, the only reviver in the game, right? Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people say you want her. I have her, I get to use her. Yeah. She's not actually, um, she's helpful, but she's not the end-all be-all. Okay. Hydrissia is really good to... Um, go ahead and keep summoning, and we'll kind of talk about, because you right now you have the two best DPS starters, and we'll okay. kind of talk about your options. Decrease, okay, sounds fun. So you don't get to keep all of these, you only get one? No, you get to pick one of them, so you get one oh, out of five that you get to select and keep. Okay. Yeah, they really, they really force you to kind of, they pigeonhole you at the beginning. Okay. And do we get to oh, keep get the more. other epics oh. and rares that we get now? Or how does nope. that work? No, just that line. So if you're like, for example, oh. if you were to select this one, these would be the only five characters you'd get. Oh, you get to pick one set of summons. That makes more sense. Yes. I didn't understand the rookie one summons at all. Okay, there we yeah. go. So you pick one set. Got it. Would there be any reason you would actually pick the line of epics if you got two? Is there two crazy epics you could get that would make you not? Oh, there we go. And there's Mathasia. <laughs> I just got like. <laughs> wow, you literally started off with the most with luckiest the rookie summons. You have three, the three best options. The three best options. But like oh, wow. Cappy said, Mythasia, uh, not necessarily early game, but you yeah, might Mythasia want Yeah, Mythasia will not help you even in the slightest in the early game, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, she, your best bet. So, so here, let's talk about it. And this will be kind of this will be like your introduction. She's pretty here. though. She is. I like her. <laughs> she's cool. Her animations are really cool. If you look at her kit, her kit's not bad. It has a cleanse. It has a heal, and it has a revive. But I do you're like right, you how her to, revive It's like Raid. You want your campaign farmer to do damage and get you through content first. Exactly. Yeah, okay. that's the biggest thing um, that really I feel like uh, a lot of people kind of miss out on because a lot of people know, like, yeah, Mephasia is your only reviver, but do you really need a reviver at the beginning or do you need to be able to, like, do some damage so you can progress? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we got those five. So go ahead and back out of here. Let's go buy some advanced summons and let's get some more shards pulled so that way we kind of oh, know more. Oh, so we don't have what, to what choose right with. now. No, no, you don't. You can you oh. should be able to back out of here. Oh wow! So we can we can actually see what we get from advance before we make that decision. Exactly. So one That's other thing before now you do that this, makes way more sense. Yep. Let's back out of here and go back to that home screen. Okay. We're gonna buy a few uh, buy a few uh, advanced summons, and that way you you should get a. Like an epic or a legendary within your first seven pulls. Let me so let's go buy. Like so stuff just in case Butler. I'm missing. Hold on. Am I missing any okay. gems? Is there anything I could be missing from collecting mm. or no? I don't I'm think like, so. Like if I clear my red dots, am I missing? No, not the heroes. Index? <laughs> the, if I clear my red dots, do uh, I? Oh, this is like our, okay, same thing where you hit the. All right, well, yeah, I'll but you get gems later. in here if you go bio. If you go into the bio, bios, you get gems. Oh, do I? Those characters? Yeah. So oh. then, so go into oh, the characters so we want, and you should yeah, be able to Yeah, then so we actually want to, this is new. So I didn't have this option before. So this is going to give us some more Yeah, gems so to and this is kind of like purchase. the, uh, this this baits you into clearing your, your red dot brigade. This is like the Grimoire and Summoner's Glory. Yep. We're kind of. Not really. But oh, it's very of. similar. It's very it's similar. It's a combination of that meets the raid index. 
Right. It's like, here's all your people. a really cool thing, too, about this. You can search all your buffs and debuffs. Oh, wow. That's mm-hmm. so cool. Oh, my gosh. You don't have to have Hell Hades website to tell you. Yeah, so if you scroll down, you can see you. all the positive and negative <laughs> effects. That's so awesome. Love that. Yeah, I like that, that they put that really in cool. game. That's really freaking cool. Oh, there we go. I'm over 600 now. That's what you wanted, right? Yep, that's what we wanted. Okay, so now All if right. you go to the the guy behind the bar. All right, let's hang out with this so, guy. So if you just click on him, yep, that's mm-hmm. your that's gonna bring up your market. Now if you go to the to the diamond shop. Oh, they're cheaper now. You said right, like a, they're not normally only a hundred. Yeah, normally they're 150. So go ahead and click on the on that and buy all three. All right. There you go. Now that should put you that put you at eight of them, and you can go scroll down yeah. and you can buy two more at regular price, and you have a ten pool. Oh, wait, in here, in the diamond shop. Uh, you can yeah, you can do it in there, or you can do it. You can actually buy the shards while you're summoning. Oh, but I yeah, see. if you buy two more, you should have ten now. So now we have Perfect. a proper ten pull. Ooh, that's exciting. Yep, there you go. So, and now we should get a legendary or an epic out of this ten pull. Ooh. So that would be really exciting because then that'll kind of tell us. You also have your free summon. Don't forget about your free summon. Every day you get a free summon. Oh, right here. So go ahead and do this guy. Oh, I didn't do this yeah. every day. I've missed three free oh, no. summons. Yeah, definitely do your free summon every day. I've actually All gotten. Right. Uh, I got a legendary off of it one. already. <laughs> What? <laughs> you got an epic. Is oh my cool? god, no way. Is she she's okay, really well. cool. I've seen people Did I do like the luckiest <laughs> pulls ever? You did. So Ivy, I don't know if you realize this, but you literally just cheesed the game. Um GG. GG. Okay. <laughs> Wait, um, she's the fusion. Now, You're now right. I want to see what people... happens when, so back out of here and do a tin pull. If you pull a game go, I'm gonna rage. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Let's oh go. my god! You better not pull again, Gallo. I'm gonna rage. <laughs> All right, Streamer what are we luck. getting? What are we getting? All right, you got an epic at least. Okay, Celestial okay. Kane. That's also a really good pull. All right, we did not get the person you were talking about. Oh, thank God! I thought I was gonna have to flip my desk <laughs> for a second there. That would have been. So Santis and Gangello literally are the gruesome twosome in this game, where if you have both of them, it's GG. Um, they can do all the dungeons. They do all the content. It's insane. And here I missed my so, summons for two days already. I could have got one in uh, that, yeah, well, in that I time. I mean, I think your rookie summons made up for that. <laughs> <laughs> so what is so, Santis? But What's no, her this job? Is awesome. So Celestial Kane is really good. So I'm kind of glad we did our pools. So that way you can see exactly who you're going to use here. So Celestial Kane is okay. going to help you out because he's got a uh, essentially an unkillable index. buff that he puts on the team. Oh, wait, that's so, definitely not. Wait, what is he? He is this one? Yeah. All right. There he is. Yep. I'm talking to him. Yeah, we're talking about him. So if you go over uh, into his ultimate there, you'll see oh, why his ultimate is really, really, really good. He's got a slice. He's got a cleanse on like a passive. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, all right. Invincible is unkillable here. Cool. Yep, and it's on an AOE damage. Um, and his uh, a look at his A two, and then look at his A one, and you'll kind of see why he's really good. Yep, so he's going to be a taunter. So he'll put un- oh, unkillable, and then he he's going to be a taunt. He heals, he provokes, and he's unkillable. Yes. In raid terms. Wow. Exactly. That sounds fun. Yeah, so he's really good. He's a good one to start with, for sure. you got a lot of good characters, actually, which actually makes the picking who you want a lot easier, in my opinion. So and we got, all right, let's so go we ahead. Got, I guess I oh, I don't need to collect all the diamonds now, because it's not really... Yeah, we're not going to do another 10 pull now anyway. Yeah, you're not going to have enough to okay. do another 10 pull. I just highly recommend so, everyone make the first like seven or eight pulls that you can do just because you're almost guaranteed to get an epic or a legendary off of them. Okay. And then it helps progressing in the game faster. It, so is in this the gems that we or whatever is that the crystal or the crystals? What are they? Gems, crystals? What were they? Um, um your diamonds. Uh, diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah. So. Do you use those for summons, not energy in this game, or is it 
Um, no, I use mine mostly for energy. You can use them for summons okay, as well. Okay, just in the beginning, just to get that 10 pull, try to get exactly jump to get your first okay. 10 pull. Because I've noticed, um, I re rolled a few times. A lot of people I've talked to have re rolled, and everything every, everyone's always kind of confirmed that within your first 10 pull, you're getting at least an epic or a legendary almost guaranteed. So, I would say out of like eight or nine times of re rolling, I got a um, a legendary. So, off my first 10 pull. So, unfortunately, my free-to-play didn't get that lucky. I was really bummed. But you got really lucky because Santis is one of those that you need a lot of. She's actually going to be a Fusion champion, but because you got her early, she's going to be very impactful for helping you progress in the story mode. Okay. Oh, yeah. like a permanent Fusion like Rosin or something? Yeah, so there's permanent Fusions in this game. And actually, the best free to, there's a comp that's basically a free-to-play comp, and you can fuse three out of four characters for it. Okay. And the other one's an elite character that you're almost guaranteed to get. Which and is really, so really poison, nice. Is poison really good against bosses in this game, like raid? Depending oh, if it's, it's, yeah, means. it's super impactful. A lot of a lot of the best best um, uh, strategies to beat a lot of dungeon bosses and any other boss in this game really revolves and hinges on poisons. Okay. So yeah, and it's really easy to stack them as well, which is really nice, especially with Santis. All right, so we need to go... Wait, that's not the summons. We need to go back to our rookie summons, and now we have to choose. <laughs> we do. We do. So so let's talk about your options that you have here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so start let's, on let's break it down so that way you know what your play style is, so you know what you want to advance with. Mm -hmm. So here, here's what you have going for you. So one, three, and five, you have Avera, you have Hydrisia, and you have Methasia. Now, Avera is going to be, I wouldn't recommend you go with Avera. She's going to be, uh, um, as far as like a boss nuker. That was my initial thought by what I saw, little, like little bits I've seen so far. That was my thought. Yeah, so she's going to be a really, really good AoE damage dealer, as well as she knocks down bosses fast. Now, she's also going to be very helpful when going when you get to Mythic for, um, for glyph farming, because in this game, you get glyphs, and glyphs are like a permanent stat bonus, essentially. So you want to do them. So you really need to be able to farm the campaign, because you're going to farm the campaign for jelly, you're going to farm the campaign for resources a lot in this game, compared to other games where you just you don't even touch the campaign unless you're trying to like level okay. a character up, right? So it's very important that you have one of these. Now, here's the, the caveat of this, is you have Hydrisia. Now, Hydrisia, uh, if you ask anyone, she's an amazing char character, she's hard carry. She will carry you a little faster through story mode, but she's mm -hmm. not going to be really like viable for like glyph farming, in my opinion. And you're not going to use her really in any dungeon comps. So she's going to okay. essentially she's going to fall off, um, and she, she's going to get used more in like the end game void tower comp. So she's going to be a quick progression, and then she's going to basically disappear. You're not going to use her, and then you're going to hit void tower, oh, yeah. and you're going to hit void so tower she's hard, like Kale. and then you're going to use her. So. <laughs> She's like Kale in Raid. Everyone loves Kale and I don't get it. He falls off immediately. The second you get get a better poisoner for Clan Boss, you're like, bye Kale. The second you get Bellower, Fellhound, any other campaign farmer, bye Kale. So like he she's Kale. She's kind of yeah, she's kind of the Kale. Um she does come hashtag back a little Hane. bit. That's right, hashtag hey, hey, when I started Raid, that's I was hashtag tag Team Helene. She got swallowed by that oh, dragon, too. but it's alright. I kept her memory alive. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's true so but uh but no so it's up to you i would recommend that you go with avera and the other reason why i say don't go with methasia is because like i said i have yet to use her and i am at the mm -hmm. end game so i don't yeah. know that the you idea really of getting a reviver sounds exciting because she's the only one in the game but she's pointless this early and even at end game you're saying you don't even actually need her so far I have Which yet is... to really use her, yeah. Okay. She's and the so thing, cool look though. at her ultimate ability. Heals all team members and revives all slain allies. Healing scales with this character's max HP. Kind of a cooldown extends. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so they definitely put a caveat on the on the revive in this game. So she'll be yeah. great for like the first heal, and then after that, but then it's it gonna gets be real sketchy. Longer. If you're gonna the cooldown increases instead of like, 
you don't have this five turn cooldown, it's going to go to a seven turn cooldown and then a nine turn cooldown for a long battle. That's exactly. not very exciting. That sounds terrible for a reviver. And in the realm of raid, you'd be like, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's <laughs> right? a bit of a rip. Uh, but I won't downplay her because she is helpful. Okay. But I would say with like your play style and you've got Santis, so now you have a water damage dealer and then a Vera will be your wood damage dealer. You still have a free Zachary. He'll be your 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 fire element damage dealer. Uh, I would say that you're going to go with a Vera. I think that's going to okay. be your best rookie summons. I'm down with that. That's what I was going to. She's a cute little fairy. All right. There we go. <laughs> she was the cute There's little There's our pirate fairy. chick. There you go. So the normal summons. Now, those are the ones that we can get by using the promo codes. And they're just going to give us mm -hmm. rares and like. You can get see. commons, uncommons, and elites. Now, elites are going to be your blues. Uh, there okay. are a few That's elites that are worth. Elite. Okay. Yep. So there's a few that are worth it. I actually just did a video talking about like the best uh, champions to 61st. Um, and there are a few elites actually on that on that list where it's it's perfectly acceptable to 60 them at, at any point in time in the game. Okay. But you're going to use most that. of your summons for food. And since we're on the topic of food, uh, you can turn some of your food into advanced summons in this game. Oh. So, and you can do this up, you can get up to Actually, five advanced summons a week from your food. Bef before we get into that, maybe we should answer this chat question because it relates to summoning. If you just summoned and okay. you don't like anything you got and mm -hmm. you want to reroll, let me quickly show people how to reroll, right? Where okay. was that at? That was, yeah. um, you click. So you're, you're going to click the it's, top, no, it's not here. Uh, top right where that little cross looking uh, symbol is. Uh-huh. You're going to click on that, and then once you click on that, you're going to go to settings. Account. Data reset. Yep. There you go. And then okay. you type in the name of your character, you hit reset, and it takes you all the way back to the beginning, and then you just have to farm back up to, or go back up to 2.8 to do a reset. Okay. Now, And you should not link your Google I Play it, ahead of time, right? If you're going to do that... Plan on just playing as a guest. Don't link your Google Play from the beginning if you think you're going to re-roll. Now, I was going to roll with whatever I got because I thought it was more fun that way. But, you know, we got lucky anyway. I mean, you can re-roll <laughs> just because you got all the RNG. But, I mean, I'm just throwing that out no. there. Um, <laughs> no, that's not happening. <laughs> but, uh, no, yeah. So, so literally, you hit data reset. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to do a, a, a re-roll in this game. So... <laughs> oh man but right. no. so I wanted you got to show lucky. that real quick yeah oh for sure yeah definitely let everybody know that way everyone knows kind of what, what to expect and what they can do if they uh, don't get the god tier uh, summons that you did for sake of YouTube I'm going to stop this here actually okay. and then what we're going to do is we're going to continue John coaching us through now what next he was just talking about we can turn our food into some more summons <laughs> We got some lots of fun things to talk about. And so I'm going to stop my video here. If you're watching mine okay. first, make sure you go to Trigger Happy John afterward on if you're watching this on YouTube. And we're going to get some beginner advice on what now what. We got our people now what. Where do we start first? So that'll be some fun tips. And yeah, he has so many great beginner videos. I've already started watching. Now it's all going to, I'm going to kind of collect the dots a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue this in part two.